from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom, this is News Fix. In this update, firefighting is expected to continue on the Bay of Plenty's Matakana Island for several days. Fire and Emergency Incident Controller Jeff Maunder says thermal imaging from last night's drone flights have identified around 200 hotspots that still need to be dealt with. Jacob Jones has more. All of the hot spots are inside the perimeter that was established on Sunday, a day after the blaze began. Firefighters will be using hand tools to dig out hot spots and expose any fire burning underground. Then they will soak the area with water to ensure it's completely cool. Police are investigating an unexplained death in the suburb of Waiaki on Auckland's North Shore. It happened at around midnight. Police are interviewing two people at the address on Sharon Road. Photos from the scene show armed police standing in front of the multi-storey property with police tape cordoning off the area. A scene examination will take place today. Summer's on pause for parts of the North Island. The poor weather that plagued much of the upper half of the island yesterday is expected to persist until a brief drying out tomorrow. Weak cold fronts are moving north from the South Island. Met Service Meteorologist Carl Lutz says warm and muggy temperatures will be felt across much of the north today. With this humid weather across the North Island, what we're going to see is potential for thunderstorms in the northern, central and eastern parts during this morning and also this afternoon and evening. Boating safety is in the spotlight in the Waikato. The Regional Council's Operation Neptune program restarts today to ensure those on the water are following safety regulations. Last year, 131 infringement notices were issued, as well as 27 formal warnings and 24 verbal warnings. Waikato Deputy Regional Harbour Master Lee Sanfia says the influx of new boaties without a lot of base knowledge has the potential to cause problems. He says they want to make sure people have an understanding of what the rules are and comply with those on the water. That's news. In sport... Australia are looking to cap off a year of international cricketing dominance with victory against Pakistan in the Boxing Day Test at the MCG. The Aussies have won the World Test Championship, the Ashes and the One Day Cricket World Cup in India in 2023. Captain Pat Cummins says the success hasn't come easily. A really busy year, a crazily busy, but... In terms of cricket, the most satisfying you know, I've personally had, and as well for the families, like it's, it's a lot of sacrifices this year. A lot of the boys have spent way more time away than they have at home. First balls at 12.30. A New Zealand vessel is among the favourites to take out the Sydney to Hobart yacht race starting today from Sydney Harbour. Caro, Nixon and Ali Graz are the three Kiwi boats competing in the prestigious event. Sailing commentator Peter Shipway says 52-foot TP-52 yacht Caro is a strong contender. That sport, I'm Sandy Hodge. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.